Hey y'all, I'm Mikamu here. Welcome to my Tales of Fantasia playthrough. At least I think that's how it's pronounced. I used to call it Fantasia, but um, pretty sure it's Fantasia. So anyway, really quickly, like I said at the beginning of my brown playthrough, um, I will no longer be able to um, record um, console videos like Brawl and Mario Kart Wii after this week, um, if you care. And um, depending on how busy I become, I may not be able to record videos at all. Um, but anyway, um, this is my TLP playthrough. Um, I'm playing it because I've recently beaten both Symphonia and um, Symphonia 2. Some of my um, Symphonia 1 and 2 um, gameplay can be found um, in my profile. It's under the playlist TOS 1 slash 2. Um, so anyway, I'm playing the SNES version because this is the first Tales of game. And this is the original version. I guess I'm a sucker for originals. And um, it was translated by a fan group known as Dejab. Um, and it really is a fan translation. Dejab took the liberty of um, editing some of the character content. So some of the scenes are a bit more uh, different. Particularly character interactions. They're more, uh, I guess, adultish or. It, it's meant to be funny. Um, although it's true to the story, some of the scenes are translated out of context, but no major deal. So anyway, um, let's begin. One thing I really like about this game, I played part of it before, is that it kind of pushes the um, SNES's limits. You really enjoyed that. You can t you can tell that there's um, voice recording. The, the graphics, they look pretty cr uh, crisp. Some people have even said that, you know, the SNES version graphically is more pleasing than the uh, GBA version. Although technically, you know, the PSX version which came out after the SNES version is um, far superior. I guess it has the best of both worlds. The GBA version um, has extra content and stuff, but uh, the SNES version, like I said, is the original. This long sequence is kind of annoying, but it's an integral part of the story. Important plot point, you know. I have this one with all these flashing and lights of giving people seizures. I know technically the game wasn't released outside of Japan. Um, I'm not saying that Japanese people are prone to seizures. Like a certain um, Pokemon episode would lead you to believe. No, I'm just saying that, you know, I wonder if they had those health and notice warnings back in the 1990s. Or heck, even the Japanese manuals that say warning could cause seizures or warning. Playing video games after more than 15 minutes could be dangerous to your health. <coughs> Perhaps only in America. So here we have our first two main characters, um, Chester and um, Class. Class is the typical RPG protagonist. He uses a sword. Class, um, Chester uses a bow and arrow. It's one of the. Uh, this is the first Tales game I played with uh, an archer or whatever. The thing that I hate is that. Well, you'll see when I begin fighting. Uh, all 
just talking, talking, talking. Isn't that kind of sexist? Well, I guess JRPG characters can get away with anything. 